Hey guys, welcome back to Jimmy Make Music. Today we're talking about music distribution. Now this is a big step forward in the music industry and I'm not trying to beat a dead horse, um, but digital music distribution is something that has to be revisited almost on a yearly basis. It just constantly changes. So today let's go through some of the major players that might help you get your music out to the masses. Let's get to work. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy make music, make music, make music, music. So in the world of music distribution, all of these different companies, at least the major players, are giving away a lot of the same type of features. Uh, you're going to hit all the major music stores, uh, i.e. Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Deezer, Tidal, etc. ETC for the smart ones. And that type of argument has been kind of played out. So we got to go through some more of the features in, in each one and who's giving you the most bang for your buck. Or no bucks, because no bucks, no bucks, zero dollars. Who who has free stuff? And there are a few music distribution companies that offer free services. So we'll go through that too. Keep in mind, we're going to go through some of the major players. If you just Google music distribution or digital music distribution, you're going to get a ton of results. There's a lot of companies that do it. So just for the sake of this video, let's trim the fat a little bit and just incorporate a few. Uh, we'll take a look at CD Baby, of course, uh, Amuse, DistroKid, Ditto, TuneCore, and Reverb Nation. These are just a few of the leaders in the field of music distribution that we're going to go through. And here's just a few things to keep in mind when you're looking for a music distribution service. Now, they all are going to have basically the same stores, but you want to see if there's any little kinks and quirks to their services that might help you in your marketing. So to make it make sense, something like iHeartRadio and Pandora are not considered music streaming services. They're considered on-demand radio. So they're in a different class and not all music distribution companies will distribute music to them. So if those are services that you have your heart on, heart on? If you have your heart in getting music on, I can't, you know, I have a communications degree. I do. If those are online stores that you're looking to get your music on, take that into consideration. Another thing to consider is the market that you're in. What side of the planet are you on? So Spotify and Apple Music are king in the United States, but overseas, you might want to focus more on Deezer or Tidal. You'll also want to see if the company will give your music to TikTok and Instagram Stories or Facebook. Uh, not all of them do that, and sometimes they will at a premium. Do any of the companies offer a YouTube content ID? Now, what is that? So it's basically a digital code connected to audio to make sure no one's falsely using that piece of audio. Most of these companies will go through do offer that service, some of them free, some of them at a premium. Let's jump on the computer and go through some of the features that you might be looking for in a company. The first one we're going to look at is Amuse. Um, this is one of the only companies you'll find that actually have a free service. So in that free service, they actually get, they give you a lot. And how it stays free is that Amuse is actually like a digital A&R. They're really looking for artists to sign. So they want to really plummet themselves with music so that they can find artists to sign. Now, there's three different tiers with Amuse. The more you pay, the more you get. The higher end price point is really for labels. So if you have a small production company, um, that might be the best bet for you is to just pay that one flat price a year and you're good to go. And one of the good things with Amuse is that even with the free service, they pay out 100% of your royalties. Another great thing with them is that they're really interfaced based. Everything's very easy with them. They actually started out just with an app. So you can just upload stuff from your phone. So even doing things on the go is really easy and they their payouts are super simple too. So that's one of the many great things about Amuse. I believe also they were backed by Will I Am and a few other artists. They do offer access to YouTube content ID, um, sometimes at a premium, sometimes it'll be free included in your plan. Uh, and they do have access to Instagram and TikTok uh, sounds. Amuse is a real player. I don't know why people don't talk about them more. Um, I've actually used this company and I love it. Like I love using it. It's, it's just easy. The big selling point with them is that they never take a cut of any of your stuff. It's always, no matter if it's free or 60 bucks a year, you're always getting 100% of your royalties. Um, you just get a few more tools as you pay up the ladder. All right, the second one I, I want to take a look at 
is CD Baby. And you can't really talk about music distribution without CD Baby. Um, they've been around for so long, just so long, uh, even before I got into the music industry 20 years ago. So they split their plans either into a standard plan or a pro plan. Uh, whether you're just releasing a single, which a lot of artists are doing now, um, or if you want to release a whole album. It's great that they give you YouTube content ID off the bat, even with their cheaper plans. They give you access to Facebook and Instagram stories. It doesn't look like they do uh, TikTok. It doesn't look like they do TikTok, but I'm sure that would change. There's two great things about CD Baby that sets them apart from most of the competitors is that they'll still do distribution for CDs or vinyl. You'll be paying that premium, but it's definitely an option that a lot of the other guys won't give you if you're trying to touch into that retro feel of your, your fan base. Another cool feature about them is that they'll give you opportunities for sync licensing. In other words, you can apply to have your song put into TV, games, apps, movie shows, stuff like that. They also offer a one-stop shop type of feel where they will work with your performing rights organization, whether it's BMI or ASCAP, and just register the songs for you, and you don't really have to go back and manually input your new song into your PRO. Lastly, another cool thing with them is that they'll work with global royalty collection companies uh, to make sure you're getting all of your royalties worldwide. Now, that might not be a big deal for people trying to blow up in the United States, um, but people or bands who are getting a lot of play in other countries, you might want to keep a tab on what the other countries' performing rights organizations are doing because ASCAP, BMI, and CSAC don't necessarily catch them all. Another thing you get is instant verification with Spotify artists and Apple Music. A lot of them spew this stuff. They all do it. I don't. I don't it's it's a thing and it's great. Um, but a lot of them, not CD Baby, not CD Baby in particular, but some of them will say what we do and the other companies don't. You'll get verified with most of these companies. Let's take a look at TuneCore. Now, this is a com another company that's been around for a long time. Um, I used them back in the early 2000s for a couple releases, uh, and they've changed a lot. Their main focus is their ease of use and their interface. They're one of the few companies that will actually give you a, a YouTube content ID on their free platform. But as you can see, they will actually have an 80-20 split in your favor, but it's still a split nonetheless, and they're going to take some of your royalties. Um, you do get a lot. They do a lot of work, and they give you a lot of resources for that 20%. Um, only they, and I think CD Baby too, actually takes a cut. CD Baby takes 9%, I believe. Um, again, they're toting this Spotify artist verification stuff, and th they all do that. The awesome thing with TuneCore is the YouTube content ID for free, which is fantastic. Even on the free version with TuneCore, you can get your sounds on TikTok and Instagram stories for uh, $0. That's usually an upsell with most of them. So these are things you want to weigh out. What's more important to you? They're all going to have basically the same features, all of these companies, when it comes to distributing to the major stores. Um, but small niche things like this, even getting your stuff on uh, YouTube Shorts, which is fantastic. I didn't even see that. TuneCore does that. Um, that might be key to your demographic and who you're trying to get your music out to. So keep that into consideration. Price-wise, TuneCore is pretty right on par, 50 bucks a year. They try to get you in with that $29.99 for your first year. They're all just about that $50 a year. Some get into the 70s. Another one at the end of this video, we'll talk about it's 20 bucks a year, uh, and you get a lot of stuff with that too. The next one is Ditto. Uh, Ditto, I think, is actually European. Ditto kind of flies under the radar. Is it Dido? Ditto? I don't know. They've been around a while too. They have three different price plans. For a single artist, it's 20 bucks a year. For two artists, you're looking more at 30 bucks a year. And if you're an independent label, you might want to look at the highest tier. It'll let you regulate and control up to 40 artists, which is pretty cool. I like their label option here. Most of the time with the other companies, it's one flat fee, no matter if you have two artists, three artists, or 50 artists. So it's kind of weird that if I have three artists on my production team, 
that I'm paying the same as someone who has 40. So I like that they have this different pricing option for the production teams or small labels. Let's take a look and see what you get for your money here. Same thing as all the other ones we've gone through, all the major stores, Apple Music, Amazon, Spotify. The cool thing with Ditto is that you can submit your songs for different playlists, and that's awesome. A lot of these other distribution companies don't offer that or even have an inside working angle like that. They seem to focus a lot on copyright protection, and I think they actually have, let me see here, they have, they have a relationship with Vivo, so if you're into videos uh, and actually well-produced, like, good music videos, you can dive deeper into their publishing programs. For the sake of this video, I won't get into that because that's a, a whole nother animal. One of the cool things with Ditto is their access to Pandora. They don't distribute to iHeartRadio, though, which is weird. Usually if there's one, they have the other these days anyway. But they do give you access to TikTok music and uh, Instagram, Facebook, that family of music distribution. Great thing that you don't always see is their access to Beatport. For all you EDM guys or remix heads, having your music distributed to Beatport is a big move. So this might be uh, a big thing for you EDM guys or any kind of electronic music, dubstep, anything. If you're trying to get your stuff out, take a look at this uh Take a look at Ditto. The next company we'll go through is Reverb Nation. Um, these guys I have mixed feelings about. Um, it gives me like a real MySpace vibe, like early two, early 2000s. Um, I don't know why. It just, it seems old. It's not as, as polished. But they do give good tools for analytics. Um, you can even step your game up and have like a one-stop shop type of thing with them. They do ele electronic press kits. You can do your website through them. They have been around a while, so any kind of problems that you may encounter, they could probably rectify pretty quickly. I kind of think of Reverb Nation as like a SoundCloud with distribution, but it's more artist-centric as where SoundCloud tries to get everyone to listen. Reverb Nation is more about artist connection and artist getting to their fans. A couple cool things with Reverb that I like is that they do have sync licensing opportunities that they will reach out to you about, and you can apply to have your music in the pot for different TV shows, movies, apps, and games. That's not always an option with these other companies. And sync licensing is an income that a lot of artists don't pay enough attention to. So to have that included in most of these plans, it's a good look for Reverb. I think of Reverb Nation as a one-stop shop for marketing tools. That's really what it was, and then they added distribution. While they do hit the major stores, they focus more on artists connecting with their fans more intimately. So for that, it's a really good tool. The last company we're going to take a look at is DistroKid. This company really focused getting their affiliate links out to music producers to get artists to sign up for DistroKid. Uh, they do offer a lot for what you're paying. Honestly, any of the paying tier scales of these music distribution companies don't really come close to DistroKid. For 20 bucks a year, you get unlimited uploads, whether you're doing a single, 45 albums, three albums, a cover song, whatever you're doing, it's that one price and that's it. You don't have to worry about these different tiers or what you're getting for free or what can you pay for? Or what's that next step on the ladder to distribute to TikTok? And it's none of that. It's one price and you keep it moving. Everything's in one place. It's one of the best selling points about DistroKid is that it's it's not confusing at all. There's no split. You keep 100% of everything. They do seem to get your stuff into the stores a little quicker than others. And you can even set up splits for different artists or writers on your song within DistroKid. You can do that with Amuse, which was the first one we were talking about too. And that's becoming more popular amongst different music distribution companies. But DistroKid really brought that one home and... and made it easy for people to collaborate. Some of the selling features that they use saying features you won't find anywhere else are just the same as all the other companies that say features you won't find anywhere else. They're all doing the same stuff. Spotify verification, Apple Music verification, manage your Apple Music page. You can do that with all these other ones too. Some of the things I really like about DistroKid is not just the the low price for the amount of stuff you're getting, the amount of features you're getting. They have options for you to add your lyrics into these stores. So say the situation is the listeners listening to Apple Music and they 
tap on the lyrics page, your stuff would show up, which is a cool option for a lot of independent artists. Some, some companies just don't offer that. One thing to keep in mind with DistroKid is that while they do offer YouTube content ID for your songs, there are certain genres where they're taking that option off the table. Mostly hip hop, some pop, I don't know where else it's gonna go. A lot of hip hop producers and artists are using royalty free loops and they're all using the same loops. So when a song gets registered with a YouTube content ID and then someone makes a song with the same loop, not even a sample, with the loop that they bought from a loop package, it creates a conflict within the YouTube content ID system. It, they want to button heads and it's a nightmare for the distributor to kind of clean that mess up. Someone's song is going to get pulled. So instead of going through that battle and wasting their resources, time and money, they just took it off the table. So when you go in and upload your song on DistroKid and you select hip hop as the genre, you're not going to have a YouTube content ID checkbox to, to check. It just, they don't want to deal with it. So keep that in mind if you're using DistroKid and you need that YouTube content ID. If that's an important part of your marketing or your income, uh, you might want to go a different route. So guys, that's my take on everything. All of these companies really do a great job. You can't really go wrong with any of them. Any step forward in getting your music out to your fans or your customers is a step in the right direction. Now, all of these companies do a great job of it. They've been around a long time. And quite honestly, if one doesn't work out for you, switch to another one on your next project. Some of them actually even have options where you can take your music down off of their platform and put it on another. So you're not locked into anything here, guys. You're not signed in five-year deals. Just take that step forward and get your music out there. Just make sure the company you pick has the features that you need. If you're really blowing up on TikTok, make sure they have TikTok distribution. If you're really blowing up on Spotify, make sure that Spotify is really integrated well into their program. If you're scared to get your feet wet and you just kind of want to dabble in it, go with one of the free options. See how it goes. If you're really video-based and pushing singles out with videos that are detrimental to your marketing, go with one who has a good relationship with Vivo. If you're into the physical media, if you need CDs to sell at your shows, you want vinyl to sell at your shows, go with CD Baby. Go with someone who's going to make physical media for you. There is no one size fits all in this game of distribution. It's all going to be pertaining to your particular art artist, your project. Your, each project might need a different type of distribution. The number one thing that you need to remember is to just get it out. Even if it's just the free stuff. If it doesn't work out, pull it off that website. Pull it up, work out a deal with them, get your stuff off and put it on someone who's going to do a better job. As simple as that. All right, guys, that's all the time I got. If this video helped you, drop a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't. If not, I'm going to find you. I'm just playing. And until next time, guys, peace. Jimmy, Jimmy, make music, make music, make music, music, music.